He's gone! Wow! I hate it when he does that. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, right. hate it when he does it. Damn, they gave Eric some big old ears too. Yeah, they did. Jesus Christ, they're as big as his cheeks. Yeah, the damn Gollum ears. Wow, man. yeah. <laughs> So, again, depending on when you're watching this, this movie's either coming out or either is out, and whether it's a hit or a failure, we don't know, but there's something coming out that at least a few people who saw it early here in town. Mm -hmm. South by Southwest? South by Southwest. I never really trust, uh, trust that crowd. Sure. But <laughs> they're saying that this new movie right here, based on a very, very popular and very influential, very feared game, Ooh. not video game, uh, we're going old school with this. Tabletop. Tabletop game. Yeah, some people are saying that this is uh, actually pretty fun. Here's the thing. We're a team of thieves. Truth be told, <laughs> we helped the wrong person. Well, <laughs> man, Chris, Chris Pine does a good scared run. Shit, shit, He does, shit, the, he does look around like, oh, I know. <laughs> he's, he's just got a squeal of them. I need, I need a squeal from him. <laughs> got them Tom Cruise chopping wind on. <laughs> but it's like a scared chop. It's like a scared chop. It's an all like, the way yeah. through. He's not cutting through it. He's just like, oh. Like he's a scared Tom Cruise. Yes. You know, Tom Cruise <laughs> runs with the confidence and, and determination. Can't be running at the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't <Yeah>. stop him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That's right. <laughs> but Chris Pine. Truth be told. <laughs> People, that's Dungeons and Dragons right there. Mm -hmm. Among thieves. Among thieves. There's honor among thieves. Honor. There is no honor among thieves, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Unless you go by this film where they said not only is there honor among thieves in this movie, but it's very fun. Before this Dungeons and Dragons, before numerous Dungeons and Dragons video games, before that shitty movie that came out, God knows when. Yeah. There was a Saturday morning cartoon that came out at the time and also named Dungeons and Dragons based on the tabletop role playing game. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> this cartoon came out, I believe it debuted in 83. Sounds about right. I think it came out in mm -hmm. 1983 mm -hmm. <clears throat> and lasted three seasons or two and a half, something like that. So the weird thing about this, it's amazing that this cartoon existed at all. It was a Saturday morning cartoon that aired on CBS and was directly based on the role playing game. Mm. <clears throat> now the thing about this cartoon, the reason why it's amazing it exists at all is because around 1983, that's the same time that you had the whole satanic panic craze that's going on. Right, which is why I'm so surprised that this show got greenlit in the first yeah. place. Yeah, this is the time when they said playing Dungeons and Dragons made you kill yourself, made you kill your parents, <laughs> hide your cats if you have them in the house because you're going to sacrifice them if you're playing around with those dragons and crawling up in those dungeons. Mm -hmm. And somehow, some kind of way, CBS still greenlit this. And for a while, it was a very successful Saturday morning cartoon show. It was eventually canceled, mm -hmm. but not because of the satanic panic. Okay. It was canceled because... Ratings just start to drop. Ah, gotcha. Now, whether ratings start to drop because parents wouldn't let their kids watch the show. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Or they thought it was bad. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> or it just kind of went down in quality. Just wasn't very I don't good. know. <laughs> it could be that. Yeah, we'll see. Also, um, this was considered to be, <laughs> for the time, now if you watch this today, it might be kind of tame by comparison. But at the time, it was a little controversial because it was considered to be one of the more violent shows. Oh, all right. I suppose so. For Saturday action. morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really risque. Like some of the outfits they have these kids in. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, whoa. And they're all underage. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing that kind of surprised me. Although yeah. it's like they're underage and yet they still draw them with these like super muscular bodies in some shots. I'm like, all right. Kind of the animation's inconsistent, let's say the least. No one in this picture is over 15. No. No. <laughs> Even though this dude looks like he's 30. Yeah. You know, looking at the show during your time, or this, or this time now, mm. when you've never seen it before. Yeah. See, I grew up with this. This is your first time watching it. I've only seen the trailer <laughs> beforehand, the opening of the, the, opening. Of the show. That's, yeah. uh, that's my familiarity with it. Uh, so, if, you know, if, I don't know what the quality is like for you, but for me, growing up with this, this was one of the more popular cartoons that was on for a while, at least until it started to decline. Like, I still think it might have started to, de to decline because of the satanic panic. I don't think it was because of the quality of the show because it was right up there with some of the highest rated uh, cartoon shows oh, okay. Interesting. on Saturday morning. 
And for me, I thought it was pretty cool. It was a because I thought it was a good balance because what they did with this show is they took a, a they took a lot of concepts from the game, mm -hmm. from the tabletop <clears throat> role playing sure, game. Sure, sure. Uh, they took a lot of concepts and elements from the game that a lot of nerds would recognize, but it was written to have mainstream appeal. Yeah, it was written like a typical cartoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're kids are the you know, because and, and they did that by not making it look so nerdy. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so first of all, to meet that kind of mainstream crowd. To get the non-nerds up into it who were not allowed to play Dungeons and Dragons, who heard it was dangerous, who heard it was just plain geeky and nerdy to play. Uh, they took these kids from modern times. You know, right. they weren't, they weren't, you know, this didn't take place originally back in fantasy land or Dungeons and Dragons land. They weren't no. going around talking about thou and thy and mm -hmm. thee. No, they were modern kids talking the modern lingo at least modern for the time. And none of them look like they play, none of them like they would go near a Dungeons and Dragons game. Not at all. Except for one. <laughs> none of them look like they would ever play Dungeons and Dragons. They all look like the popular kids at school. They would look down on it. Yeah, very much yeah. so. Make fun of it, mock it. Yeah, they all look like, they all look like jocks and cheerleaders and preppies, you know, bullies. Yeah, that's what they are, actually. That's yeah, what they are, man. Them, especially one of them. Yeah they, they were, yeah, yeah, they were all like the popular kids at school, except this guy. Uh, who's called they like who's who was an actual nerd right and he was and he was the least cool character out of all of them they, they make fun of him often. <laughs> oh he was the butt of the joke for everything mm -hmm. yeah this the, the 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 wizard here the presto presto like all the other kids <laughs> had their original names hank and eric mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and diana i think or something like that sure but, but yeah. he was just presto mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the kid who like he would actually play dungeons and dragons <laughs> was the least cool character he's on the, the show. He's the worst at it. Yeah. <laughs> he's not good. <laughs> oh, he was horrible. Yeah. He was horrible. Uh, uh, yeah, the rest of them were, you know, again, the rest of them were, were cool kids with cool powers. You know, when they when they got their powers, you know, they were all fighters. Yeah. Except for Presto, who Bar just, you yeah. know, just... Yeah, he just pulls shit from a hat. Exactly. You have your ranger, you have your barbarian, you have your your, yeah. your knight an acrobat, which I didn't think that was an actual Dungeons and Dragons character. I'm like, might okay, not be. if you say so, acrobat, okay. Yeah, this but all one, those, yeah. Yeah, so here's how it breaks down. So you have you have Hank, the 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 blonde haired, blue eyed leader, of course. Of course, you gotta be. He's yeah. the he's the he's the ranger. Got a mm -hmm. cool title, mm -hmm. the ranger. Um then you got uh his girlfriend Sheila, who's a thief. Uh, and, and I guess, you know, the, she was like one of the hottest girls in school or something, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you got the, prep, the, the, the preppy rich kid. I won't even say prep. You got Eric. Eric is Eric. The, Eric's the cavalier. Now, I say preppy, but Eric, he's a rich kid. And I swear to God that his, he's, his, 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 his family's mafia money. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because every time he talks, hey, he talks like this. He does have that. He does have like a stereotypical. He's like talk like a Jersey Italian guy. Yes, Jersey New York accent. Hey. That's true. Yeah. Hey, if you're not going to send us home, then I'm getting the out of here. Hey. My father owns you, father. Yeah. I shouldn't be here right now. Yeah. There's even a part where he's like, he's on a, uh, he's, he's, on, he's on a horse or something. Mm. He's like, hey, you know, I'm usually used to riding in my limo. That's hey. right. He does say that. Yeah. My dad's limo. Yo, my dad's limo. This is yeah. terrible. Uh, the hot black chick is Diana. She's the acrobat, mm -hmm. and Bobby, Bobby's the uh, he's the youngest of the group. He, she, I think he's Sheila's little brother. Yes, and uh, he's the barbarian, which means he was probably a bully at school. Definitely, definitely. He just likes to hit things. Yeah, I mean, look at him. he beat up kids. At he school. does. Yeah, he does yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and here's the thing about the show. So we're about to get into the, the clips and show you what the show actually looks like in full animation. Uh, so this is back in, again, back in my day, I don't know how it was for you. I appreciated the show for not wasting any time <laughs> at all getting into it. Yeah. There's no, so since these are modern kids that have gone to this fantasy land, whatever it is, Dungeon Dragons land, uh, you ask how did they get there? Uh, i tell you what, they waste no time getting there. How they got there, there's no explanation for it at all. You wanna know how they got there? On a, on a Dungeons and Dragons ride. That's right. Yeah, like at a carnival or something. They had no yeah. business getting on that ride. Somehow, somehow, somewhere, there was a portal in there yep. that Portals. took them to Dungeons and Dragons land, mm -hmm. and that's the only explanation that you get. Wow! Me! Give me a break. So there you go. Uh, hey, give me a break. Whatever. This is lame. Hey, all this fake shit. Hey. <laughs> when we going to the strip club? Hey, I want to see some titties. Hey. I like this. 
So, <laughs> so that's that's it, man. Yeah. And when they do get to Dungeons and Dragons land, they don't even get a breather, man. No. They immediately get attacked by a dragon. The, the and, and not just any dragon, but like the the Debo dragon, a Hydra. Yeah. Where are we? Hello. Look out! Help me! Help me! <laughs> yes. And, and while this old man just gets off and watching them all get almost killed. Oh, how sweet yeah. fresh meat! Yeah. <laughs> old dude just in the background, just always yeah. watching them, watching these, uh, watching these kids. These pretty much junior high and freshman high school kids almost get murdered every episode. I mean, that is very accurate, especially for what he actually is. You know, he is the dungeon master, as he calls himself, and it's like dungeon yeah. master revels and people dying. <laughs> yeah, that's the dungeon ma master. He just gets off on watching people fight. That's right. Uh, he gets them to. In, in the show, he gets them to fighting. <laughs> so these kids, which he's never met before, yeah. he's just like, you know, you're a thief and you're a ranger, you're a cavalier, whatever the hell that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you're, yeah. hey, you look like a bully. I'm gonna give you a big club mm -hmm. rating. So he just starts assigning them roles, you know, immediately. I mean, yep. since they're being chased by a dragon. Yeah, they power. Ranger? <laughs> Barbarian? Magician? Thief? Yeah. They even get an instant villain. Now, so, they really do, yeah. yeah it, so they, it's all within like less than a minute, by the yeah, way. Yeah, they're all running, and they just get an instant villain because you know we got to get moving. So they just they just run into a guy that just wants to start shit with them. Mm -hmm. Doesn't even know them. Just knows I just you know what I just never seen y'all before, and I don't like your faces. <laughs> you know you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just starts picking on them for no reason. Ah! <laughs> Who was that? That was Venger, the force of evil. Of course he's evil. He's going around picking on people, man. And apparently that's what he does. He just goes around starting shit with everyone because him and that him and that dragon have beef. Man, the, the three, the the, the 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 main group of kids, that that Hydra dragon and Venger, all of them. It's the thing is, like the opening, it's, it feels like there's a misunderstanding because yeah. like when the kids come up, Venger looks out and goes, oh! it's almost like he got scared and he just shot his beam at him. Yeah. And they just reflected and hit the dragon. And, and, now, hit the everyone, dragon. and now everyone's an enemy. Everyone hates each other. And it's, it's, like like, Venger, it's like Venger saying, man, you got that dragon on my ass yeah, right yeah. we were cool yeah and the dragon's like i don't know <laughs> lie, but I, you hit me though you hit yeah, me you yeah. said you reflected if it's I like wasn't no chasing after me. you yeah yeah so <laughs> That was Venger, the force of evil. And that's all he is, just the force of evil. Why? We don't know. Nah, he's might my mic back too. Oh, oh sorry about that. That was all right. Uh but all of that, now that's not even the show, y'all. All of that is just in the intro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's the first minute. Yeah, yeah. This is what you see every week when the show <clears throat> comes on. Yeah. Uh, and you know this, uh, and it's not a lot of uh, setup in the first episode. So what we have here, this is the first episode, uh, the very first episode that that premiered. I, for, I, I forgot what it was called. The the long way to no tomorrow or something it doesn't like matter. that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> They've already. So once they uh, uh, get going. They've already, you know, set up everything in the intro. All they want to do now is maybe, maybe set up just a little bit of character development mm. in the in the uh, uh, you know in the, in the beginning of this episode here. So they just start letting you know, you know, what the personality types of all of these people are. And the first person they kind of start with mm. and let you know is Eric. They let yeah. you know off the, right off the bat, Eric is an asshole. I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm oh. of Dungeons and Dragons. So that's the intro right there. And that's mm -hmm. what you see after every week after you see all this setup. Sure. So all that happened right there. And that's to let you know also, you know, it's the same font and everything that uh, you yep. see in the game. Mm -hmm. So it is, you know, based directly on Dungeons and Dragons. And as I said in the first episode, they just start setting up that, you know, uh, what, what these character types are like, what their personalities are. And Eric is very much an asshole. Sheila, can't you do something about your little brother? Hey. <laughs> Control the little brat. You know, it's, it's I don't like, like the squirt here. He's all yelling and stuff. Why are you trying to be us? Come yeah. on. Like, what did he do that was no different from no anybody different. else? No different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did he do that was different from everybody else? Nothing. He just has a problem with Bobby. That's he really it. doesn't like him. Yeah, he has a problem with Bobby and Presto. Yep. Mm -hmm. Presto, he just picks on. Bobby, he just doesn't like. Yeah. Yeah, but Bobby just takes shit. Bobby's like, I don't care. <laughs> Bobby's like, I got a club and yeah. I will beat your ass mm -hmm. with this. You got shield, you got nothing. <laughs> um, 
And I'm starting to think, because we're talking about, you know, these they just get to this world and just start pissing things off. Just, you know, things just start chasing them, trying to kill them. And I think that it's because they're annoying. They just go out they're there. They're yelling. Just, yeah, they're just yelling and screaming and just and waking everybody up, including, the you know, again, the biggest, baddest dragon around. Look, there. It's Tiamat the dragon. Hi. Cut out all that goddamn noise out here. <laughs> <laughs> now that is something from the game that is uh tiamat or a tiamat tiamat from what i understand is the biggest baddest dragon Ooh. in dungeons and dragon lore oh look at you with your research oh wow okay so nice. i wanted to tell you a little something too okay I, I I started to get into Dungeons and Dragons sure. when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and my mother got caught up in the Satanic oh, Panic. She she's told, like, mm, she's baby. like, I no oh, no, I heard I heard this game called Changes Go Crazy, calls mm-hmm. kids to kill people. Mm-hmm. I don't know about this core. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, she told I don't, I don't I don't feel comfortable about this in my house. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and it all went away. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I kind of got out of it, man. Uh, but I do recognize a lot of things there, and Tiamat was something that was. Uh, and it, it, let me see how you spell it. It's Tiamat, T-I-A-M-A-T, not to be confused with Tamak from The Last Dragon. Of course, of course which, not. Which no, is no, another no, dragon no. of a different kind. I suppose so, yeah. yeah. But More badass. But yeah, I was also, when I was a kid, I used to love Dungeons and Dragons. So when they had the character in there, you know, I had kids telling me mm-hmm. at the time, like, oh, yeah, he's from the game. Oh, you know? yeah, no, that's the bad one. That's yeah. the bad one. That's a, you know, it shows you they did have some people working on the, the show who were fans. You know, they just didn't use it just for its uh, its look or anything like I that. Thought, yeah, I thought it was cool that they were mm-hmm. actually, you know, d- giving pure shots out to the, the fans yeah, out the there. Lore the game. And all that. And, yeah, the mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. taking the coolest ones. Now, this, you know, I mean, this drag is not as big as the one. It ain't as nearly as badass as this ring. No, here. I mean, the design is dated. Yeah. yeah. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But it was, I thought that was kind of cool, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of weird, though, because it's like they fought him like literally like minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's him again. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's so pissed off about his nap being disturbed. Yeah, that's right. He stalks them through this whole episode he here. He really does. It's really funny, does. man. It, it actually gets pretty comical how he just won't let go, mm-hmm. you know, being woken up by these kids. He's pissed about it. Um, and, you know, if, um, and the funny thing is, is that when you watch this, uh, these it, the kids are annoying, but it's not like they asked to be here. When That's I say true. annoying, they're probably annoying to the people in the world. But it's not like they asked. They didn't. They, it's not they asked to be here. They, you know, they got kidnapped pretty much by something that yeah, brought them here. Yeah, they got transported here against their will. And they get. They're almost getting killed every other minute. Mm. This is a savage land. You know, they pissed, the, especially with these two bullies, uh, Avenger and uh, this dragon. Mm-hmm. It's constantly on their ass, man. Why? I don't even, I can't even remember. I think he wants the weapons or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, Avenger wants the weapons. He wants the dragon the just wants him to shut up. Yeah. He, he, just, <laughs> he just, I just don't like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, the, so there's, but there's nobody helping these kids when they get, when they start fighting. True. You know, and. You know, and and so then they and they're constantly getting into fights. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't have a show. They're constantly getting into, vi- into fights, and you know, and when all the hard work is done, who shows up? Dungeon master. You little fool. Now that's one of the things that's cool about this is that they they are they are kids, and they act very careless. You know, they they do things that are dumb. They make you know they make rash decisions. But you got to keep in mind, even though they don't have them to look like it, they are like they're like you know. I think the oldest one is 15. Mm-hmm. So they do have them act like kids, man. The other thing is, though, they have them act, they, they have them uh, uh, work together. So it's that true. was a thing about the show. It always had to be them cooperating. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, that was the theme of Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, that's a good point. The, the theme of Dungeons and Dragons where, you know, you you had different abilities and you had to work together as a team. All these different uh, races and classes and your right abilities and they have to come together and, and solve a problem. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, that's the thing about them, man. And, you know, they're... They're always there. They're fighting by themselves. They work as a team, which they have to. Otherwise, they die because they're not getting any help from anybody at all, especially Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master is a sadistic. He just sits back. He says, I gave y'all weapons. That's it. Yeah. He just, Rest is you. It's all up to you. Yeah. Good luck. He just yeah. sits back and watches them fight and, you know, and hopes for the best. He kind of gets off on it. And then once they're done, that's when he comes back and like, good job, kids. And, like, and then they're all like, where the hell have you been? Please send us home. We're so scared and we're hungry. They really are like that. Like, we yeah. just want to go home. No. God damn. Mm-hmm. Nice maneuver, pupils. Dungeon Master. Uh-huh. 
Where did you come from? Oh, someplace between there and here. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, really. Where you, yeah, yeah. you been, man? Where you hiding? Yeah. You been following us? You tracking us? And that farting sound you hear in the background, that's that unicorn. <laughs> uni. Uni. Like oh, every man. scene, if you hear like a, like, so like a, a motorboat going off. You know, I guess a horse going. Yeah. But she that's all she does. Yeah. Useless, by the way. Just there to be cute. Yeah, that's they 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 actually sold toys. Of course. Yeah. And as soon as Dungeon Master comes up and says, Well, hey, y'all didn't die, good job, he pulls a Batman on him. <laughs> I've had it with your riddles. Now give us a straight answer for once. How do we get out of this world? Patience, Kevin. I love that about Eric. Eric mm -hmm. is no bullshit with this guy. Yeah, he's like, send me home. Yeah, Eric, yeah, All Eric. Right. Is like, hey, now look, old man. <laughs> <laughs> he's blood. I've had, I've had enough of your bullshit. All right. I, Eric's an asshole, but I do like that he's very yeah, straightforward. Yeah, yeah, right to the point. I've had it with your riddles. Now give us a straight answer for once. I'll have my dad whack you. <laughs> He'll break your kneecaps. That's what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> you think how now this fantasy mumbo jumbo's gonna save you? Sin mm -hmm. guy's over here right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He'll bury you, old man. <laughs> I can't I can't blame him, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be sick of this. I'm like, I want to go home immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I hate these people and I hate you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's uh you know, as soon as that happens, he's gone. He, he disappears. Yeah. But uh, one of the things, that, but that's what a dungeon master is supposed to do, I think. Yeah. He, yeah. He pushes the story along and he sets things up. Yeah. He, he pushes the story along. He sets things up. He gives, you know, he comes in and gives the quest. He makes mm -hmm. the, if you're a dungeon master, you make the game. That's right. And he comes in and tells him like, yeah, you know, this is your next quest. This is what you're going to do. Good luck. You will journey to the north for it. There you may find something that will what? help you get back home. Like, what the f are you talking about? What? I don't know. Where are we going, huh? <laughs> Felix was once at the mercy of flying dragons. See the many faces of evils by his white hair. <laughs> so, yeah. So he gives him a little hint on the way. And this is important because he's like, hey, you know, when you get to where you're going, you're going to know you're going to know when trouble's going down because. Right. Of evil, all known as Venger. You shall know his newest face by his white hair. That's right. He probably could just tell him, but you know, anyway. White and, hair, keywords, anyway. keywords, two keywords. Yeah. Remember. And hey, I told you what's going what's going down. I gave you all the information. I gave you all weapons. So I've done my job. Wait, Dungeon Master, you can't just leave us. Huh? <laughs> He's gone. Wow. I hate it when he does that. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, right. hate it when he does it. Damn, they gave Eric some big old ears, too. Yeah, they did. Jesus Christ, they're as big as his cheeks. Damn, Gollum ears. Wow, man. yeah. And since this episode centers on wizards and magic mostly, mm -hmm. you know, they, they have to go see Merlin. Uh, and the reason why they're going to see Merlin is because Merlin might be the secret to their way home. Sure. And of course, Merlin lives in a cool ass castle. Hell yeah. Wow! He lives in a castle in the sky? Where'd you expect Merlin to live? Well, before Merlin can help us get home, someone's gonna have to help us get to Merlin. That's pretty cool, you know, the whole thing of the castle and you know a lot castle of Castle in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole theme with a lot of fantasy and whatnot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Jack and the Beanstalk all the way to Miyazaki, man. That's right. Yeah, Lapita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when they So I love it when they meet Merlin, man. Now this had me laughing. When they meet Merlin, they remember they remember a uh, a clue that Dungeon Master gave them. Yeah. Although I would not blame them for being distracted. Look, he has white hair. Would that I did, young lady. I am a great magician, but the one thing I cannot do is grow hair. This fool's Ooh. hair is attached to his hat. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> did you see? That's a weird detail. He, feel, he feels very bad about his baldness. You know, he's, he's you know, he's nervous yeah. about it. Anxious You're, about it. First of all, it's, that's the first sign that something's not right. Don't ever trust a wizard that has his hair attached to his hat. <laughs> like if you can't make a magic toupee or a holographic wig or something, something's wrong here. He can't do it. He can't do it. Yeah, all that magic, and that's the best you can do? Mm -hmm. You're a pretty terrible wizard, Merlin. <laughs> it's attached fuzz to the brim of your hat. <laughs> yeah, well, I did say that's the one thing he can't do. Yeah. There's one yeah. failure in life, apparently. Yeah, that should have been the first sign that something is wrong here, which a lot of people probably can sense that right now. Yeah. Uh, Certain details. And here's the funny thing. like they, Here's a second sign that something's wrong. So they go to him. This, this is the reason why they're there. Merlin, the all-powerful wizard. 
they go to him, first of all, because they're looking for some guy with like a lot of hair. Yep. <laughs> he ain't got none. Nope. And he can't he can't send them home. Mm-hmm. No portal. And it's like, all right, if you can't send me home, then why am I wasting my time? But he kind of keeps them there. <laughs> yeah, he does. And, he, yeah. and again, guess who puts him guess who puts him in his place? I cannot grant you the way back. You can't? Oh, great. <laughs> but I can't. He's, he's, he's already oh, sick of this. This guy is jabroni here. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Tell you where you are headed. Many years ago, the land of Helix yeah. fought back against one who would conquer them. The defeated conqueror. Uh. Vowed vengeance. Dungeon Master told us this already. <laughs> it's like, I would say they're rude, but it's like, man. It's, it's true. It's true. Like, we came here for one specific reason. Yeah. And this, if you're not going to tell us, it's a waste of time. It's like, but I didn't tell it to you yet. So it's special <laughs> for me. All right. So shut up. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're going over the intro again. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And of course, he can't tell them uh, how to get home. Uh and Eric is just like, look, you know how I am. I'm, this is bullshit. I'm out. Now, if you're not going to help us get home, I'm leaving. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Come on, second like thought. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> 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 That dragon's been at that door, outside that door the whole time, just waiting. waiting. I just want one of them just to open yeah. it. Ooh, I'm going to get them good. It's going to be so good. They, when they step out this door, I'm going to get there. Yeah. It's Highlight of my day. <laughs> big ass dragon just waiting on them the mm-hmm. whole time. Didn't hear it. Didn't hear behind the door. Nothing. Yeah. That thing fly up. Like she's over. really pissed that her, her nap has been ruined yep. and should probably let it go because it doesn't lead to anything good. And by the way, again, keep in mind, these kids, are none of them are over the age of 15. Mm. Ooh, nice. Uh, a big ass fill for the old rug over a hole tree. Rug over a hole. It's got many a Scooby Doo villain. It's getting a D D villain too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Three Stooges fell for yep, a few yeah, times. That's right. Yeah, many, many. many yeah, fun. that's it's funny because uh that's why they made that chick the act the acrobat man, because they wanted to show like, you know, just her body flipping around those I, I know, but it's like she's underage. I know, like, I know. They were such a skinny clad outfit. Yeah. No, this is for some for all the fourteen year old boys. So like, so like, oh, yeah. she's my favorite mm-hmm. character. She's hot. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, and so again, this is the episode where they try to give everybody a, a little uh, a highlight, a moment, a, a moment, moment here. Mm-hmm. And this is Presto's. This is one where Presto actually doesn't, you know, for the most part, he messes up. But oh yeah, oh definitely messes yeah. up. But this is his story and. You know, that they wouldn't be able to pull that trick if it weren't for the rug. And who brought the rug? Whatever you say. Perfect. Finally. You know, and Merlin is so <laughs> Merlin's so impressed with that rug. You loved it. He's like, you know, I've been searching thousands of years for, for a guy thousands, who can yeah. whip up a rug like you. <laughs> I'm 70 years young, my lad. The age where I begin searching for one to teach my secrets to. Uh, yeah, so now he wants him as a pupil. Mm-hmm. No, he's, uh, Merlin is so impressed. Uh, of course, that comes with a price. I can teach you all my magic, but only if you stay here for the rest of your life. Jeez. He's like, God damn. The rest of my life? <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a devil's deal, man. Mm-hmm. So he agrees to do this. And being that this is the first episode, you know this is going to go wrong because he, he's only kicking back. Because he's being a little shady himself. He's like, well, I'll, I'll agree to this. But he, what he's really looking for is a way home. He has alternative motives. Yeah, he's like, you got yeah. all the resources. I like that. But that that is kind of like part of Dungeons and Dragons. Like, I'll agree with this, you know, this character. But it's really? usually for the group. And so, yeah, they do some underhanded stuff. So, you know, he he might have rolled a, a, I don't know, a natural 20. And then <laughs> like, sure, I'll work for you. Yeah, man, that sounds good. So I kind of like that. Yeah, they do some shady shit. Yeah. And yeah. that's what he's doing. He's sitting back trying to, like, find a way home. He's like, I'll stay here forever. Sure. Until I find a hole to get my ass out of here exactly. portal or something um which like you said i guess that's kind of cool that they do things like that yeah again. Hannah, yeah kids yeah. Love <laughs> uh, so he tries to be slick and he's going through all the books and looking at all the ingredients and everything a spell to get us all home it's petrified spider eyeballs yeah of course Ooh. he's never used this stuff before nope he just grabs all of it <laughs> he just grabs stuff doesn't know how to measure it doesn't know how to you know how to mix it and blend it together Mm-mm. so of course he's a and messing up. Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! I don't know what happened. It's, it's the dragon came out of the cauldron. It's weird. 
I swear, I, I did nothing. I think you had the wrong ingredient. <laughs> I was just making a sandwich. Marion, where are you? <laughs> Oh Lord! This is like the Sources Apprentice. If the Bruins yeah. want to kill people, yeah. <laughs> amazing. Um, now listen, this is the one where you say, "Oh, here we go, Presto f- again," mm. and he did not actually. This he was he was he was tricked. He was tricked. This was this was all the setup, which is why I said this whole thing is a devil's deal. I told you, never trust a man with his hair attached to his hat. It's fair. So I had to trick you into undoing Merlin. That's an evil ass yeah, too. Yeah. Got your ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you stupid little bitch. <laughs> Look at stupid little bitch. <laughs> gotcha. Boy, they drew that look well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wild-eyed right now. It's like, yeah. <laughs> For me as Oh, no. He's like, he's like, oh, he's like, yeah, I feel stupid. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I, I like it, you know, because the, they, they emphasize, wait, white hair. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, yeah, that's they, 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 they think about that. They realize that later. Uh-huh. I like that he messed up so bad that. That word traveled quick. Mm-hmm. Oh, then, yeah. Like the mm-hmm. village knew immediately. I can see great wealth in your future. And in the future I see... Oh, no. No! What is it? The dragons! The dragons are coming back! That fortune teller's obviously a dude in drag. I, I thank you for mentioning it because I'm like, this is a man doing a woman's voice. Oh, no! <laughs> ah, it's horrible! Yeah, that's a dude. Yeah. Oh, the dragons are coming! Sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that guy we met was Merlin. But he looked like Merlin, standing there stroking his white rabbit. Huh? Not his rabbit, his hair. Huh? His, his white hair. Oh, oh, oh it's right in front, front of us. He just <laughs> distracted us with this weird hat hair thing. Yeah, yeah it's very <laughs> off-putting. <laughs> no venger by his white hair. We thought he meant hair, like on his head. Yeah. Then yeah, Presto not. is along with Venger. You know, what's, what's messed up about this is that yeah. Dungeon Master just could have told them. Because obviously he knew. DM can never say that. And DM can never tell them that information. It's like they, he wouldn't be a good Dungeon Master then. Can't okay. give him all the details. So you want to mess with these kids, but now you put a whole village in danger. He doesn't care. <laughs> DM, he is he is chaotic neutral. That's what the Dungeon Master is. That is that the Dungeon The Dungeon Master is an asshole, uh, man. Yeah, yes! <laughs> now, you, now you know what a Dungeons & Dragons is like. Now wow. You experienced it. Yep, yep. You didn't give a... Just you, revels hey, in the depravity of the Figure it out or don't. I mean, mm-hmm. hey, if you don't, you might kill hundreds of people, but... Pretty much. Yeah, you make sure. mistakes. Hey, no, I tried to tell you. Yeah. You too busy looking at that hair on that hat. <laughs> gave him a clue. He gave him a clue. He gave you some information. The rest is up to you. I mean, they're, they're going to tear up the town, but then, you know, no one's going to get killed. No. Let's find Bobby and Eric. <laughs> God, I know. Clear the town square. Damn, they are a little gnomes. Yeah, they are right there, right! A little, little, little gnome face. They there. are, yeah. Uh, no. And they're all around. They got big heads. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Them gnome pot bellies. But man, the that the, the voice acting for the dragons. That... Ah! Yeah. It's like, ugh. Yeah, rough. and you can tell it's a dude. Yeah, ah! yeah. Probably, probably doing the, the fortune teller too by the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. The dragons are coming. Ah! I think that was you. No. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. So now they got to go back and beat Venger now that they know it's him. So they got to climb all the way back up to that castle. Yeah. And when they get there, they, they can't beat Venger because uh, they can't beat him with magic. Because now Presto, I think, did he take his magic he away took from his him? Hat. He took his hat. Because he wants all the objects. Took his hat of tricks. The town of Helix is being destroyed right now. You've got to cast Merlin's spell again. Me? I'm no Merlin. And you will not cast another spell. You're like, yeah, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, so since they can't defeat him with magic, they, they get his ass with books. <laughs> That's how do it. Reading! <laughs> Words! Take All right. All right. All right. Oh, All right. the books! Oh, no. I hate it! <laughs> yeah! But then they remember, like, oh shit, that's right. He got beef with that dragon. That dragon's in that hole. <laughs> that misunderstanding. We're going to exploit that yeah. misunderstanding. <laughs> hey, go to that dragon. Hey, guess who we got? And he's been saying, t- he's been talking more shit about you. Mm-hmm. Really? Let me ask you this. And then destroy you and your meddlesome friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Kool Aid, Kool Aid Man Dragon. <laughs> Kool Aid Dragon. <laughs> I like it. No, oh, get, oh, get the back, back the up, man. Don't touch me. <laughs> you don't touch me. <laughs> Stay away from me, dragon. Mm. That's I don't even know goddamn door. <laughs> care about that. I'll like, make my own door. Which brings the question, if he can bust through a stone wall, how come I he can bust with that wood over the that, hole? That wooden just plank that, just, that was on it, you know? <laughs> yeah, It was magic. It was a magic plank. Okay, sure. That plywood <laughs> door they have right Yeah. <laughs> it's like nothing holding that down. No, not at all. Yeah. Important thing is, is that they they defeat Venger, sends him on his way in this little castle in the sky for now. For now. Where are those whole castles? Now I'll never get my magic hat back. I wouldn't say that. Shut up, Yuni. Toodles. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Who's this wizard? All he needs is to be wearing some lingerie right now. I know. <laughs> like what you see? Yeah. It's one thing to not show up when you're about to get, you know, about to get your ass kicked and you're about to get killed by a dragon or, you know, some dude with one horn on his head. Mm-hmm. But it's another show, like rubbing it in by posing. I know being so willy nilly about it. Yeah. Like, oh, here you go. Yeah, Did you have fun, fun, fellas? It was fun for me. I loved watching yeah. it. <laughs> that's a idea what the episode was like. But one of the things that this show was criticized for was violence. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know if violence just was, if this seemed more extreme back in the day, I, or, or maybe it's because there was just. Just more fighting in this show, and more than most shows. I can only think it's it's the fact that the kids are quote unquote violent, like they're committing a lot of because they're 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 you know like you have them where he's hitting the ground and all the books are falling on top of the villain defeating him. You have people that are you know running away from fire breathing dragons. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's yeah. all of kids though. <laughs> yeah, maybe like that's the big thing because they're constantly in danger. I just remember that this show was, and I was reading about this today. So this there was a. There was a lot of people trying to give this show, I don't know, citations or something. And they're trying, oh, to, get, sure. they're trying to get it pulled. Yeah. And there was one infamous episode. Now, I want to show you that because Ooh. that's the first episode where it shows you, you know, more character building. Because the others, you know, they just really jump into it. Okay. You don't really get to, you know. You know who these people are. Yeah. Uh, but there was an infamous episode that I almost got the whole series canceled. Wow. And it, a lot of people tried to cancel this episode. I don't know how many more times it was shown. Mm. Now, today, it doesn't seem that bad. It's tame, I imagine. But it's kind of cool because this show pulls something, almost pulls something that a lot of people say, mm-hmm. uh, you know, if these villains keep chasing after you and they keep trying to kill you, why don't you just kill them? Yeah, no, that's true. And there's an episode where Hank finally gets, he says, I've had enough of his shit. Whoa. And he finally says, you know what? Because they ask him, so Hank, what are we going to do? And he's like, whatever it takes, which means I'm going to kill this, this son wow. of a bitch, man. Wow. Okay. And at the end, and he almost does it. Now, for these kids to actually contemplate murder, even think about it, right. that was a big no-no back of, in the of day. Of course, of course. For all of you. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Do it. It's up to you, Hank. What are you going to do? And they're all like, cool, man. <laughs> like, well, look, we don't want to be the one to do it. Mm-hmm. We don't want to get our hands dirty. But hey, man, we're kind of tired of this dude. Even, too. even Eric's like, it's up to you. Man. And Eric's the asshole. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and he's like, I'm he's sure. like, hey, my father's whacked some people. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, kids. Thank you so much. Oh. Got shit in his pants. Yeah. You sit away, Phil. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus Christ. He thought that was it. <laughs> they got weak knees. Why did you not finish me? You, I did it for us. But what about you? Yeah, but you we thought we were going to kill him, man. Yeah, I mean, he's going to keep uh, messing with us because you're trying to kill us. Yeah, yeah Bobby's like, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. They even had a last episode that was kind of cool that never got produced. Really? Yeah, because it was they left it open. They, they left it open as it could either be a last episode or we could like kind of continue this, mm. kind of reboot it in mm-hmm, a way. Mm-hmm. And the last episode was the kids. They they were they they were given a choice whether to go home or not, oh. but it ended with them not making that decision. They could either go home or they could stay and continue to fight oh, evil there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. they never produced that episode. Wow. You could, I think you could find uh, some 
I think there's a fan made video where they oh, animated sure. that. Yeah, concept art and stuff like that. Because that's they cool. the thing is they recorded it. Oh really? But they never they never they just animated, never animated it. it. Okay, that's so, interesting. So wow. they has where the script came out and some huh. people read it. Mm -hmm. You can listen to the audio for mm -hmm. it. So it, man, that was a so it's dated, naturally. Oh yeah, of course. And, but by you know, by, by by the standards back then, you know, for, for what you could get away with. The show was, and they never did anything that was crazy, man. No, not Batman that probably goes a little harder than this. hundred percent, Batman went harder, yeah, in the nineties, yeah, yeah. But for the eighties, no, this is this is pushing boundaries, and the fact that it was just so kind of <laughs> reverent and respectful of D and D at the same time also kind of puts in rare company. One of the things that's really cool about Dungeons and Dragons is that the production was actually pretty cool. Uh, let me see if I can find, you know, an episode here. So at the end of the episode, they would, you know, they would, they would, they would scroll through the park that the kids were, that the kids got kidnapped in. <laughs> sure. And that, they, that animation was great. Yeah. And they would play the score. Mm. And the score on this show was, uh, was very well done, man. The score on the show was nice. <laughs> Peter Welker. As you need. Yeah. So they, yeah, they did, uh, they did a lot of great animation on this, man. And, uh. And some of the music that you heard in here, this is how you knew it was a Marvel associated production because some of the music that you heard, you heard in some of the 80s Spider-Man cartoons. Oh, really? Our oh, Spider like Spider-Man is Amazing Friends? Spider-Man is Amazing Friends. I watched Friends. that one, yeah. Yeah, you could, you could definitely hear some of that music playing, man. So it's it's a it was a it was a really cool show. And uh, if you are curious about some of these, they actually have some other episodes that are online. Like they say, this episode was pretty scary for kids back in the day. Oh, because they yeah. yeah they showed yeah they showed some that were. I was going to watch another one, but I didn't because uh, like I said, it, you know, focus on the characters. This one to have the first episode would probably be better, man. Mm -hmm. But they had they had this uh, they had this creature. That just kept following them Ooh. everywhere they went, and it had this, this green goblin scary face. Oh. And even Dungeon Master was like, "He's like, I can't outrun this." Man. He's like, <laughs> even the DM's like, "I don't know what this is about." Yeah, he finally he finally felt what it was like. Wow, he's oh, like, that's he, he got involved. That's like, cool. Everybody's scared of this dude, man. Interesting. Avenger, mm. Dungeon Master, everybody's like, when he shows up, even Avenger's like, "Master, oh, listen, I swear, yeah, I, I was working the whole time. You know, I, it wasn't me." And Dungeon Master's like, "Yeah, even we got to look. I, we got to get out of here. Wow. There's, there's, there's nothing. Okay. I, I can't help you now." Oh, cool. Uh, and, and this because creature looks like the Green Goblin. Interesting. Yeah, and it just makes this this and it talks in these grunts and noise I'm like ah, 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 and it's for little for little kids. I can see how this could be a little disturbing for them. So what happens? You must not look upon it. Jeez. <laughs> like, <gasps> that was the last thing Dungeon Master told him. Don't look at it. And he did. And he's trying to. He, and he's just. He's. Uh, he's trying to get them out of there. And he's just powerless, man. Like he. Wow. Like every time he teleports them, uh -huh. it just uses up his energy. And he's like, I can't keep doing this. He's. And there's even one part. He's like, and this is something I guess they were talking about too because they talked about death. They alluded to it a lot uh -huh. here. And he's like, listen, if we can't teleport anymore, this this might be it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Akira or something. Like he decimate yeah. wherever he goes, he decimates areas, man. He just this just scorched earth. Or he's like he he's like a version of Vecna or something like that, who is like kind of like the big bad of mm. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Does left? Yeah, a good commercial. Tune in next week. <laughs> yeah. Are they still alive? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just over. Yeah. Yeah, it took the power. Wow. And then he, yeah, he comes, they find him. Ha! Huh. And he may be right. Wow. <laughs> Stakes yeah. are high. Yeah, he's just kind of like, yeah, there's nothing else I can do, mm -hmm. man. You're mm -hmm. on your own, kids. Yeah. I'm useless to you more than ever. <laughs> so there was a lot of that that went on with the show that made, you know, parents, parents and the, oh. especially the, like the, you know, the censors or the, the, the board. Oh, the, sure, the, sure, sure. The boards that would watch these shows. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we don't know. We, the show might be a little stressful for kids, mm -hmm. which it wasn't. Yeah, of course not. They were like, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he almost died. Yeah, yeah, but it was, yeah, it was a fun show, man. Yeah, no, it was cool.